Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series. And today we're over on Aberration and we're going to be trying to tame up a, uh, what are they called? A Basilisk here today because they are just amazing creatures. I actually really like the Basilisk. Um, I think it's just such a fun creature to ride around on. I really want to take one over to, uh, what do you call it? The, like the desert area in Ragnarok or even on Scorched as well. Um, so I definitely want one to be able to bring over there. But basilisks are a, they're a bit of a, a bit of a pain to tame. Uh, so first of all, they require rock drake eggs and obviously you're not going to give it high levels. To be honest, uh, I actually, I saw before in one of my basilisk taming videos that somebody was like, oh, you idiot. You should be using high level eggs only. No, any egg will do. Do not waste high level eggs on a basilisk. Like, I think I have just a bunch of like, yeah, 24. I mean, that's decent, but it's not really that good. Uh, like just a bunch of kind of like low-ish level eggs. Some some eggs that I would just never hatch essentially, but uh, only really use those. So they require that to eat and, oh my God, will you actually just climb up there? Thank you. What the hell? What even just happened? So they require those to eat and you have to pretty much kind of like passive tame them essentially. It's a little bit different from like running around after a Gigantopithecus just feeding it because it's got to be aggro to you constantly. Uh, same way with a normal type bow snake in the game and unfortunately if it burrows into the ground then you lose all like well not all but like a decent chunk of your taming effectiveness so you got to keep it aggroed on you constantly which just it's just really really annoying to do because like you could sit there and just tank a bunch of hits by it but it does poison gas which damages your radiation suit and eventually that thing could break and then you'd just be screwed but um my plan here today is not to tank the hits or not to like sit up on a zip line or do all these other things. I want to actually make a trap and I've already designed it in my head. I know what it's going to look like and I know how to put it together. And these are the pieces that are required to make it. So this is going to be a reusable trap to be able to tame a basilisk, though. I think if I ever want to tame another one, which I probably will, we're probably going to have to like move the trap to the new location instead of uh, like bringing a basilisk over to there, unless we get super lucky and have them spawn in the exact same spot. But today I'm looking for a high level only, really, like, because they're a bit of a pain to tame, so I don't want to tame anything that's low. Oh, hello. Who owns you? X-Man. Interesting. Does he have a base around here? Just a random Megalosaurus here. Okay. Well, uh, people can tell X-Man that he has a Megalosaurus right here <laughs> that is so strange i don't even understand he must have just had like a pack of them follow him or something and then forgot about that one i don't know i don't think he lives nearby i think he lives like over by the lake doesn't he i might be wrong on that but anyway yeah what was i even saying i can't even remember stupid axe man megalosaurus making me forget my train of thought <laughs> but anyway yeah so we're gonna we're gonna build up the trap we're gonna only really tame up like a high level so i'm gonna keep looking until we get a really good level here today and uh, I know a couple of good spots to look for them, mainly around the lake, but also the portal area is quite good. So I'm going to head to those spots and uh, I guess I'll just bring you guys back once we actually find something. Because I assume we're probably going to have to kill tons and tons of them here today uh, before we either, either get super lucky at the very start or wait for one to spawn in after we've killed like 10 or whatever. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, guys, make sure they hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really just help me out. Do appreciate it. We'll get straight to the taming right now, I guess. Okay, so we found a 180 Basilisk. It's actually really cool looking as well. I've already seen it because it was out of the ground when I came over here eating some raptors or something. I don't even know. I like ran over there and I had to like pause my TV show. I'm rewatching Game of Thrones right now. So uh, yeah, um, I can't, you know, HBO, they don't really like when I randomly put clips of Game of Thrones playing in the background of my videos. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and build our trap and then we can aggro that thing and get it to come over. So I'm trying to figure out where's a good spot for the trap because we're going to need like a flat spot. You know, almost right down there is almost like the perfect spot. Damn it. Let me see. Maybe over here. This could work. Can we build on this? Yes, we can. Um, so earlier on, I actually found a decent level one. It was a 150 and I was like, yeah, all right. I guess I'll just settle for this one because I was thinking, you know, I was... I'd been searching for quite some time and to be honest, it's been a few hours since I even like did that first clip. 
Um, I've been searching for like quite some time and I was thinking I uh, kind of just want to, you know, maybe tame one. So the next decent one I'll get. And uh, it was in the portal area and it was a 150 and I was going to tame it. And then I realized that you can't actually build in the portal area. So I couldn't have built my trap and I'd have to lead it out and that would just be a massive pain. So I kind of just was like, nah, okay, whatever. We'll just keep searching. This bad luck is obviously, you know, it means something. Uh, can we build the rest of this there? All right. Can we get a foundation here without having to... Damn it, the spot is not flat enough. I need to not have to place a foundation down the bottom there because I don't have enough for that. Can I place... Can I place one here and then get one right there? No, I need to pick a different spot. Damn it. Let me see. All right. Pick up all of our foundations and pick a different spot because this one sucks. Uh, let me see. Maybe, maybe up here? This isn't actually... Yeah, this is kind of like flat-ish. So the idea of this trap is if they go into the ground and they lose their taming effectiveness, why don't I try to stop them from going into the ground, right? If I stop them from being able to do that, then they can't lose the taming effectiveness. That's the kind of thought that's going through my mind here when I designed this one. Um, so I don't know if anybody's done anything similar to this. So I I would be I would be willing to bet that somebody already has, but I just like to say I don't watch people's videos and copy their traps. So I don't know. This is not that original, but it's just what I want to do today. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just build it up here really quick. I would, to be honest, this is not really even that intricate or anything. So somebody's definitely done it before. Uh, I kind of almost thought I heard a, uh, a basilisk noise there for a second. All right, let's get the last row here. Okay, so we basically, we're going with a four by seven because I actually went into single player and measured out a basilisk to see roughly how big they are. And uh, this is kind of like the decent size that I could go with uh, for the pen. Let's put that there. Okay, and let's grab that. Can I carry all this? I can, nice. All right, so this is going to be the side that I lead it in through. So we're going to go with two high walls around here. And then same over here. And then at the back, this is going to be where I'm going to have like a platform. So this is going to be four high, just so I'm a little further away from him. And so he can't easily get to me and uh, hurt me and whatnot. So then we're going to pop a gate over behind me in a second. And I'm going to place ramps on the other side of that. Now you can probably lead him through a gate, but I don't really want to do that. I just kind of want to have him come down a ramp and come straight into the pen. Uh, oh, this is where it gets really annoying. Let me see. S cycle the snap points. Finally. All right. Uh, and then that can go there. Go ahead and put that. Oh, no. Oops. Let's put this onto manual. And that's pretty much the inside of this done. So he's going to be inside of there. And hopefully he shouldn't be able to burrow through a foundation. I, I'm just... Oh, crap. I'm going to assume that he can't. So if he can, that's really going to be annoying, though. <laughs> Can I, can I place these? Eh, there we go. No! Why? Uh, Alright, let's, let's go ahead and just use our rock drake to build this part. Okay. So then we want to snap these to the very top facing out here. And this is going to be just where I'm going to be standing the whole time. And I can throw the eggs from here. And I can put my rock drake on the back here just so he also keeps aggro of this basilisk. Um... And I have a bed for up there, and I will place the ramps before I do anything else. So we're just, we're going to lead them up here, and then we can go out that gate that I have. Uh, to be honest, probably should have made a stone doorway. That would have been good. Or, eh. I guess I could put a, the ladders that I have inside. Oh, crap. This goes right down. Hmm. I'm going to need to take off a row of these. Yeah, this ground goes right down. That's kind of annoying. All right, so you have to go like that, and then we don't have that much room to lead him up anymore, but that's okay. Uh, I should be able to get out the gate before he, before he gets to me. All right, so we're going to do that, and then right here, we're going to go ahead and get him up really quick and just place some ladders. Three and four. Sweet, and then we got a bed for up there, just in case I die, because that's probably going to happen. And bam, I could just go there. So I could drop eggs from down here and kind of hide back where I'm keeping his aggro, 
but he won't be able to hurt me. Oh, he's is that him? <gasps> How the hell did he aggro from that far away? What? All right, so he that's actually him. I recognize that red pattern. Yeah, that's him. How the hell did he? Okay, I don't know why he aggroed. He, there must have been something over there that he that caught his interest. Uh, can I carry all those eggs if I took them? I think I could. Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's, um, we could probably lead him in here with the rock drake, actually. Let's test this. We're going to have to quickly close that gate, though. There he is, a super cool kind of like reddy, orangey color on him. And he is in the pen. Nice. His head can kind of pop out really far, though, which sucks. Go ahead and close that gate, though. Bye. <laughs> All right, so I'll keep you over there. And then we can get up there and start feeding him. So that was a little bit sooner than I thought we'd be doing this. I'm going to leave you right there, and I'm going to climb up here. Hopefully, he can't hit me through the wall. Can he? Ooh, okay. All righty, so... Ooh, what are you doing? Let's just sit here for a second just to test and see if his gas can hit me. Like, my radiation or my hazard suit should actually be able to protect me, but... I just want to be sure. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and drop down some eggs then. Uh, so we want to try to get them, like, really, really close down here. Just got to go right off the edge and drop them down. Okay, he ate that one. Okay, we'll do that. So he should start eating the next one here pretty soon. Um, super cool colors on him, though. He's, like, black and kind of orangey, and he's got, like, almost like a silver uh, stripe on his back. We just got to kind of stay within his range, though, so he doesn't, so he doesn't drop percentage or anything although he shouldn't be able to go down below the ground so i think we should be okay this might work out all right can we can we see his taming percentage i don't think we can do that with the spyglass no or her whatever <laughs> all righty so yeah it shouldn't be able to burrow and it should immediately eat an egg when it's hungry again so there it is crazy looking look at that thing one thing i completely forgot about and although i probably wouldn't have been able to carry it along with all the other stuff i forgot to bring a basilisk saddle i do believe we have a blueprint or else maybe just a straight up saddle so that's gonna be awesome come on get hungry again so i think the uh the dodo deck says it should take around three for like a max level with my taming rates that's pretty good yeah, as you can see, he just can't even burrow. It wants to, but it just can't. Ooh, there we go. Another roar. I think that means it's time for food again. You gonna eat something? Hopefully it's not dropping taming percentages anyway. That would really suck. Let me actually hop down there and have a little luck. Might be able to spot it through the wall. Okay. It did drop down a little bit. Hmm. What's the way to stop that then? Damn, we we lost some levels there. I don't know how we could have prevented that though. Uh, should I restart this? Like, hmm. I don't know. I don't think you can restart it though. I, I wouldn't even know how. I might have to knock it out, which isn't really an option. So we've dropped down the eggs. I mean. Hmm. We're gonna lose some levels. That sucks, but it is what it is. I don't know what I did wrong there, though, to be honest. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let me have a little look at Dodo Dex here. Let me, let me just pop this open. It's gonna eat another in any second now, I'd say. Keep an eye on that percentage, though. So, Basilisk. Okay, here we go. When are you gonna eat another there, buddy? So five times taming, and it's a 180. Bam. Yeah, so I shouldn't have lost levels. I'm not sure how I did. It could have been from when he wanted to burrow, but couldn't. 
I don't know. That potentially could be it. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to maybe grab one of those eggs if we can. It's, uh, oh, what's it doing right now? Hmm. Let me actually grab a ceiling and just kind of go at it this way here a little bit. See if it will pull back and maybe eat another egg. Hmm. You gonna eat another one? You hungry? I might have to drop another one down. I could potentially hop down there and grab it. Although, here, look. It should eat one now. If it's hungry, it will eat it. Okay. Oh, that's weird looking. Oh, it just ate another one. There we go. All right. Let me see. How are you losing taming percentage, though? Oh, ow. Yeah, so it lost some before, but it wasn't because of the egg. It was because of something else, and I don't know what that is. Yeah, no idea. Let me know down below if you have an idea about that. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> Why? Ah! Oh. Watch out for that. Hmm. I should have probably spread out those eggs a little bit. They're all like in the one spot. That's not great. We could go ahead and just pick up the ceiling and place that further out. Just leapfrog them. Hmm. A couple doorways around the pan actually would be pretty good. Come on, buddy. Go ahead and eat the next one. Um. Yeah. Is it going to start eating? I wonder if can I grab one and then get out. Oh, I might be able to... Oh, could I grab it from here? Is that a thing? Probably not. We could do this. <laughs> let's just like... Let's get ourselves down there. Do that. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God! It could hit me! Can I pick that up? Got it. Got it. All right, we're good. Oh, ah! Oh, God, it hit me! Oh! Get through the gate! No! <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, I'm pretty torpored right now. Am I going to be okay? I think we're going to be okay. I don't think we're going to pass out. Oh, yeah, there we go. GG. Oh, yeah, in this game, you pass out when you hit 50, don't you? Or so. Damn it. Gotta wait for our character to wake up now. It's still rising. Okay. Let's see. Let's pick that up. Alright, come here. Go ahead and eat this egg. There you go. Go on. <laughs> Should have brought more ceilings. Come on. Ooh. Come on, eat an egg. Oh, I think it's gonna eat one. Come on, eat it. Oh yeah, I think the roar means that it's gonna eat it soon. you're doing there huh you losing more taming oh you're okay come on eat it up should I risk it and grab that <laughs> Whoop. shouldn't have done that let's go ahead and pick up this wall here Oh, we got it. Nice. All right. So we lost three, three levels 
it could have been max level uh like with the 99.9 .9 taming per uh, percentage it would have been a uh 269 but we got a 266 in terms of stats those seem pretty good the health seems pretty good uh melee is not too bad but then again we can always pump that up in these things but uh yeah that is that's a pretty awesome basilisk actually go ahead and pick that up Where, where's the other one was there another one there should have been there should be another one here somewhere did he eat an extra one because it should have only taken three. Oh, there it is all right sweet so let me see uh yeah you're pretty amazing oh i did have a cryopod i didn't think i did all right let's grab that yeah actually you know what i grabbed that before i left didn't i wait a minute it said 19 oh my god i've been at this for ages <laughs> it would have been like it would have been like a full a full day so i've been at this like five hours well probably less than five hours but still um that is really amazing for the amount of time that went into getting this thing i'm pretty happy with it i mean we lost those few levels but that's fine there's probably something i could do to perf to like perfect this type of trap um i think i'll probably leave it here just so we have it and in like a place where basilisks do spawn and if we ever want to tame another over here then we can but uh that's pretty amazing let's go ahead and and just get back to base with this thing and get it a saddle so Oh man, that uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So there's the trap anyway. If you want to use it, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, like, there's nothing really tr too intricate with it. Uh, you could probably perfect it a little bit by putting some door frames in, if you want to, but it's up to you. Um, I'm gonna fly all the way back over to my base, and then we'll be back. Can I? Oh no, we're gonna fall into the water. Whoop! All right, let's see. So I guess I'll just chuck it out there for the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's, it's super big, so it just <laughs> popped right out in our face. All right, let's see. Um, so I do believe, yeah, we have it right here. I thought we had an actual saddle, though. Hmm. Could have sworn that we had an actual saddle. Where would that have been? I do have a saddles part in here, don't I? No. Ammo saddles. That is my saddles one, yeah? Okay. Apparently, I don't have any saddles. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and craft this up then. Uh, bam. One of these, please. Nice, we have enough. I was worrying. I was thinking, do we have enough metal and stuff? Ugh, I'm glad that we do. All right, well, it's only an apprentice, so it's not going to be super amazing, but it's fine. I could have sworn that we actually had a basilisk saddle here somewhere. I don't know where that would have went, though. Um, but yeah, here we go. Amazing. I love these things. All right. You know what? We should actually show off the attack. So left click is a bite. Really amazing. Uh, we got it. We got like a crosshair. Right click is the spitball. And it's got some decent range. It's the exact same one from the poison wyvern, which is cool because like that thing's actually a pretty solid attack. Uh, C does this kind of like a bit of a roar. And then space bar, you go into the ground and then you can burrow as well. But I do believe I can only last in the ground for a little while. Yeah, look at that. My stam is actually draining, is it? Oh, wait, no. My oxygen is actually draining. I think. Yeah, I don't know if there's a time limit for the basilisk in the ground. I mean, if you were an oxygen tank, then you'd probably be okay to last longer down here with it. Yeah, I don't think it itself actually has a timer on that. I do believe that if your stam... Yeah, look, my stamina is going down even though I'm not moving. Yeah, all right. So if your stamina like runs out or your character starts to just, I guess, drown in muck and, and dirt, then it's probably time to come back up. Let's go all the way over here. So the amazing part about the Basilisk is that if you're being attacked by like Reapers or anything, you could just go ahead and burrow into the ground and just get away. It's really cool. And then obviously you could do the surprise attack, but it's not, it's not a huge surprise. <laughs> Because everybody can kind of see it. Oh man, look at that. Huge amount of damage. I don't even know what that is. It's a Titan Boa. Sweet. Alright. Let's, um... Oh, you know what? We should go down below. Fight some stuff down there. That could be cool. So, let's go this way. Oh, and it's also got trample damage. I forgot about that. So, anything that you run over is just going to get hurt. Bam. Bam. Kill that dude. 
nice so just in general th these creatures are super awesome to ride around on but like they're also really good let's kill that guy nice um let's kill the stupid arthro i hate those things die oh man oh you know what we need to get a freaking dermis from this thing yes we need to do that like right now oh you know what i forgot ravagers and basilisks it's a bad idea i forgot about this oh man i can't believe i forgot about this so the ravager is actually pretty hard to kill on a basilisk because they aim for the like direct center of your body and they like as you can see it's not even at my face where i can bite him easily so he's just constantly going for the center of my body so we need to actually get away here we don't want to fight ravagers i forgot about this it's just a bad idea and uh, now they've trapped me i'm kind of oh i'm not stuck anymore can i oh i'm on that rock apparently that doesn't seem possible all right let's go can we not oh crap <laughs> run so yeah i forgot that ravagers are kind of the worst for a basilisk that could have turned out really bad but yeah we need a dermis from this thing just to see how it looks i think that would be amazing um let's go ahead and fight this megalosaurus let's shoot at him actually because i don't know if he could pull me off the mount he probably could so be safe here yeah we're good level 18 and you're dead nice let's go up here so yeah just in general like this creature is amazing <laughs> I, I just love the basilisk also it's pretty good just like for gathering and stuff like that because i do believe it gets like 75 percent uh, weight reduction on stone i don't know if it does that for anything else so it's the exact same oh my mouse went off the screen it's the exact same as a dodic for that buff which is amazing let's go on up here if i could see kind of can um so just like bringing stuff around as you can see the weight is super high so if you had just tons and tons and tons of stone you could go ahead and just chuck it on this dude and you could carry all of it <laughs> like 10 10 times like what a dota could carry because he's got so much base weight like that's nothing nothing pumped into that and it's already at that much let's go up with the oh my god was it by like 600 damn yeah we want to make this thing pretty tanky I want maybe at least 20 25k on that and then i want uh some more melee damage onto it as well so maybe we'll leave it at that for for the uh what is it called the health for the moment and then just pump straight melee for a little bit and then we can pump more health i might actually have to cryopod my guy because i'm not sure if i could get out of here easily also where the hell's my base i think it's over there yeah i'm gonna cryopod him just so i can like run and jump off this thing because I'm pretty sure that a Basilisk takes a ton of uh, fall damage. And I don't want to find out if that's the case. Can I... Can I glide? What the hell's wrong with my glide suit? What? Okay. Glide, please. There we go. That was weird. I've been noticing that lately. That, like, the glide suit doesn't activate sometimes. Has, has, is that just me? Or have other people noticed that too? I don't even know you know what actually let's let's head all the way down to the spot where like the reapers spawn that could be fun we could fight a couple reapers with this thing um so we want to head this way and yeah just keep heading in this direction so the crystalline lake is over here and we can pull out the basilisk when we're over here um where's a good spot to actually land I gotta get up there. Oh, we can get up there from here. I love the glide suit. Okay. Bam. And let's see. Let's just kill all these things. Or maybe not. Whatever. We'll just bite at some of them. It might be quicker. I want to get a few levels at least uh maybe killing a reaper queen would give me a decent amount of levels so we could we could find like a low level one and then possibly do that that could be a thing let's go into the ground though just so i can get around quicker can i go under the lake 
by doing this i think yeah oh wait no you can't all right i thought i could oh god mistakes were made mistakes were made run swim wiggle whatever whatever the hell you want to do let's go underground and i want to are you kidding me are you actually trapping me all right whatever get off of me oh Karkonos no he's gonna pull me no I don't want to get pulled off my mount that's not a good not a good thing to happen let's get over here so that over there that's where we're aiming just head straight over there and then try to fight some things so hopefully we can survive this be really bad to lose my guy right now okay come on jellyfish you stay away from me I swear I will beat you all right I think we're good all right that's just a little bit too far I think where exactly am I now usually I glide down here I'm not used to going down here like on foot or I guess whatever this is oh hey alpha Carcanos. that could be fun oh my god it's a 168 that is terrifying uh we might be able to kill that thing we'll see Let's see how much damage I do with a hit. If it's like, oh yeah, we, we're doing like normal damage to that thing. Yeah, we could totally kill that. This could be a thing. All right. Oh my God, it's super fast. Dude, you're so fast. All right. He's stuck. This could be good. We want to get a dermis of this as well. If I, if I kill it, I need to get that. Um, something's attacking me, but I don't care. It's fine. None of those are hitting, are they? Come on, get off of me. Stupid seeker. Yeah, we got him. All right, let's try to shoot at this guy. You know what? Could we just sit here and like fight him this way? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, he does a huge amount of damage. All right, we might be able to kill him. This would give us a lot of levels. Oh yeah, that other one's dead. Let's actually eat the body just to uh, get the XP. Or not the XP, the body, the meat and everything. All right, here we go. Oh, what else is attacking me? Oh, it's a Dimetrodon, what the hell? Okay, we got one level. Oh, we got to watch our stam though. Look at that. Ooh, we're getting really low. We're also really low on health. We might have to get away here. Oh, what? That is cheap. How can I not do that? All right, we got to get away. I can find a plant species uh, Z plant and heal off of that. I think that there's one around here somewhere. Yeah, I do believe that there's one over here, I think. I don't know. I'll find one, though, and then we'll go back and kill that thing, because we want the germus of it, but mainly we want the XP from it. That will be a really good kill. So I'm going to go and find a Healy plant, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I've been to that healing plant twice now. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> He's almost dead, though. Let's keep using the spitball, though get that tick off oh man so yeah hopefully this thing will be dead any second now we can get our levels finally and then we can get the dermis all right he's starting to run he keeps doing this it's really weird oh please don't fall off the cliff this time oh i thought he was actually gonna fall off the cliff i was about to scream all right he should be dead any second now as you can see he's super hurt bite him a little bit Come on. Give it up already. You're embarrassing yourself. All right, come on, hurry up. Hey! Oh, finally. Give me that stupid dermis. Give me your claws. Well, I'm stealing it. It's mine now. All right, let's see. 23 levels. That is lovely. 
go ahead and pump up the health because why not at this stage we might as well 25k and the rest into melee lovely all right let's get all this organic polymer from him damn all right well that took a lot to kill that thing was insane um wow all right well let's get back to base so we can check out this dermis and then i also want to get a dermis of my basilisk as well so we can have that for the museum uh, oh wow look at the damage that we're doing now damn nice that's a lot more sweet Alrighty, well, uh, base is back that way, so I can go around this way, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we're there. Alright, so, we're back at base. Let's chuck in the... Let's check out the Basilisk one first. Um, alright, there we go. Lovely. It's really small, though. Can we change your scale? Oh my god, your max scale? That... Oh wait, no, it wasn't. For a second there, I was about to freak out. It's still tiny, though. Oh, I like that one. I like that pose. That's really cool. Yeah, I like the one where it's like up like that. That looks super amazing. Um, there it is, kind of from like the front perspective. Yeah, I think I'll use that one for the for the museum. Uh, and then here is the Carcanos. It's just an alpha version, so I don't the colors on it don't really look like an alpha, but whatever. Carcanos has some derpy poses. It's like side to side. Well, probably end up using like that or maybe this one here. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, that is the Basilisk. That is just amazing. I love this thing. Oh, man. We can also hide them in the ground, can't we? Oh, wait, no. I have foundations down there. So I can hide them out here, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It sucks that we lost those levels on it, but it's still pretty amazing. Um, Can I maybe I can back them up and get them out of here? Thing is freaking giant seriously like they really are massive come on get out no let me out there we go all right there's also a titan bow out here for some reason i don't even know why i need to put up some turrets because one of the days i came over and there was like a titan boa attacking my pen in there and there was a bunch of light pets in there at that time Let's go ahead and chuck them in the ground but uh yeah guys that's gonna be it for today if you have enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Rawr.